everyone. So we're going to do a demonstration of this Savanya stereo console. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go over these buttons. Obviously this is power, this is tape, phono, AM, FM, auto FM stereo. This is your different speaker options, stereo, AFC, and mute. Mute is not what you think it is, it's something different. So we're going to turn it down, I'm going to turn the power on, I'm going to put it on radio. Obviously that's how you tune it. <clears throat> this is left and right balance, your treble, your bass, this is your level. So it's kind of like whatever volume you have it at. Just gives it more volume. Now if you want to play a record, you can turn the power off. You got to make sure it's on phono. This is how you set your record up. See this thing here, this, I'll put my hand over here, you lift this up and you pull it away. So we'll set this on here, we'll lift it up, pull it away and this comes on to the record. So your records are tilted. To play a record, we got two options here. You can do manual, which it'll put it on lift and you put the record down yourself. That's if you're gonna use your little, uh... oh, it's in here. If you don't want to have the record changer option, you put this pin in right here. This simply pulls out, you put this pin in and you do one record at a time. That's what manual's for. So if you want to play the record, hold it to start. Sometimes you got to do it more than once or give it a little bit of pressure. You got to make sure this is released because this locks, your, locks it down. Before we do that though, I'm going to show you how to remove the cartridge. See the little arrow here? Because you can't lift this very high. Grab here on the front, the whole thing pulls right off, there's your cartridge. The key to success with playing any records is to keep your records clean and your stylus clean, so it's good to get a stylus brush. At the very least, I like to blow it off that way, because that's the way the debris would gather if it's going to be gathering at all on the back side of the needle. So put this back here. Slide it in, you're ready to go. So make sure it's free, and you hold this over to start. Sometimes you gotta hold it for a second. If it doesn't do it the first time, just do it the second time. <clears throat> it automatically powers on the amplifier, so you don't have to have the power on. If you want to uh, stop the record and don't go to the next one, flip it over to stop. It'll drop the next record, but it's going to turn off. <clears throat> so over here is your speed selector. So obviously for LPs, you typically use 33 at 12 inches. If you happen to have a 33 10 inch record, you'd put it there. If, if, you, have to have, if you happen to have a 33 RPM 7 inch record, you put it here. 45 is right there, and that's typically a 7 inch or 12 inch 78. So that's it for the record player. Now we're going to do Bluetooth. So on the back of the unit here is our Bluetooth receiver and as long as it's plugged in the wall there's power to it and the blue lights on. The first time that you get this what you're going to want to do is hold this button till the blue light blinks. Now it's findable. So then you got your streaming device, either your phone or your iPad, that will find it. In our case, I've already found it, but let's, uh, let's look for it anyway. Come over to settings, Bluetooth, says not connected, so I'm going to press it, and it found it. <clears throat> now, to play Bluetooth, you got to have the power on, you got to have tape. Not phono. So... These buttons don't work entirely how they're supposed to. When you press any of these buttons, they're supposed to pop up. But to get the FM to pop up, just push the AM down a little bit to get it all up, then do tape. It's kind of finicky, it's old. All right, so we'll go over to here. We'll get our streaming device. Make sure the volume on your streaming device is all the way up. 
and then control your volume here. There was a time in this fair land when the railroad did not run. In the wild majestic... Okay, one more thing I want to show you. We're going to put this on phono again. We're going to push tape down and get it off of there, otherwise phono won't work. <clears throat> if you're going to play 7-inch records, your uh, device is right here, your 45 adapter. This is brand new. Brand new old stock. you got to keep this to the front. So put it to the front. It slides down. I'll grab a couple of 45s over here. Set them there, that's all you gotta do. Set it to 45 and seven inch. Make sure you're free, not locked. Do start. Go to the next one. Stop. If you do start again, let's see what happens. Should just play it again. So you gotta press, it's not really pressing stop, using the lever to hit stop. And that's about it there. So I'm gonna turn the power off. So over here, you have your stereo headphones. I'm going to go grab my uh, headphones. Well, I don't know where they are off the top of my head. But anyway, put your headphone in here and you have to pr press remote speaker. That turns it off to the amp. So I'll give you an example. We'll, we'll put it on radio. I press remote, now it's gonna to go to your headphones. So make sure your volume's down so you don't break your eardrums. Plug it into here and, uh, and uh, adjust it how you're, uh, to your listening pleasure. Well, that's about all I can tell you on this. Let's look on the back real quick. So, remote speakers. If you wanna put additional speakers on, you can use remote speakers or these speakers. If you decide, <clears throat> sorry, to put in a uh, CD player or a reel-to-reel, -reel, you can run the wires out of the back of this and come up to here, but you'll have to unplug the Bluetooth to do it. This FM muting has to do with sensitivity. Don't mess with that unless you have to. The directions for it are in your instruction manual, so let's go take a look at that. Oh, wait, let's come back to here. So the Bluetooth plugs into here. If this thing ever has an issue and you gotta reset it, this is your reset button. This does not hit here, so you're fine. Come back to the front. And a little door here. You got your extra stylus, should that one ever wear out. You got your single play spindle here. And all your instructions that originally came with this console in 1971 are in here including the specifics of the Garrard Lab 95 record changer. So that's about it. Enjoy your Sylvania stereo console from 1971.